Coach, what you, uh, would you like today? I like the fact that we got out of here healthy, got paced back on the field. Um, we got dinged up last time we were on the Saturday. And, uh, we, we held a lot of guys out today, obviously, you saw that. But, uh, we know those guys can play. You know, without six guys on defense, six starters, and probably six guys on offense. So, uh, you know, we know those guys can play. And want to make sure those next guys are ready to step in and play at a high level. And, chance to see how they did when, when the heat was on. Biggest concern at this point, do you think? I mean, about like, midway through. No concerns at all. Not at all. We've got a good football team. We'll take it one day at a time. What, I mean, what do you think needs to improve, though, at this point? Stay healthy. Uh, start deep preparation right away. And uh, make sure we're ready to play. Uh, Dayton's had their way with Youngstown State. Got a lot of order alumni tell me about it. So that's a big football game for us. That's we just worry about one game at a time. Defense creating a few turnovers and you know making some noise. I mean, can you talk about that side of the football? Yeah, you know, obviously Justin Delegos had a couple plays today. Uh, as far as two interceptions, uh, we were, uh, didn't do a very good job with ball security at the running back position with the second group that we had in there. Uh, there was two fumbles there. Same guy. Uh, new guy, so he'll he'll learn, you know. Uh, if you turn the ball over, you stand next to me during the game. It's not really fun to stand next to me. With uh, with two days left of camp on your schedule, uh, is, is attention already turned today? Yeah, we're going to be on it Monday. We've been already doing some special team stuff for Dayton. And uh, they're a well coached team. They do a good job. And, uh, it's a great football game for us. You read a little bit about the defensive line. Can you talk about them? So uh, defensive line, I think the glaring thing to me is, is first and foremost, is just, uh, I just really like their chemistry. Uh, it's a very tight knit group. Got some new guys. They bond in the spring, but over the course of the summer, I've seen the transition. And that's a tribute to Steve Zaborski, uh, DJ Moss, those guys, uh, local guys, taking those guys in. That was a big deal. But uh, I really like it, and I like their athleticism. And uh, I, I think we have a chance to have, right now I'd say we've got nine guys who can play. Uh, we can potentially ten. Well, uh, the first scrimmage we had, we brought in the referees. We brought in Jerry Ripley from the Missouri Valley Conference. Uh, we obviously, was, well, we watched the video together, explained it. And I think, quite frankly, it's a few things. You know as a player. You play, you knew when you're taking a cheap shot. And at the end of the day, don't take cheap shots. It's going to be fun. Again, I'm staring at the repeat of the scrimmage today. Just overall, your thoughts on it again? Well, I mean, obviously, I, I like some of the things that uh, our number one offense did. Um, you know, Kurt looked good in a few plays in there. Uh, offensive line did some good things for Steve Lickham. Obviously, you can see the Bellings are pretty well. Uh, Martin Reeves ran well today. Stops. We got some stops there at the end. And obviously, uh, Travis right there. You know, we did a game-winning kick situation. No time left. 15 seconds on the clock. Coming from the sideline, and uh, he got pushed over our right guard. And Travis obviously had a great vertical. Got up and made a block. A lot of times, games come down to those type situations. So how do we want some more? I'm going to ask you an off the wall question. Uh, Not you. <laughs> With, with two scrimmages, inter-squad scrimmages, does college football need the uh, scrimmage team scrimmage each other? I would love it. I mean, I think we should scrimmage after and have a good situation for us. Or even play for that. You know, be good for those guys. Uh, There's uh, no a chance to fill stadiums. Playing regular season. Anyone in the way?